Hey everybody, so Halo Infinite got a new update the other day, and it might be the best Halo Infinite event we've ever had. You compare the Tenrai 3 event to the first event, and it's not even close. Today's brand new update adds 8 new maps to Halo Infinite, that's right, Eight. One is a remake of the Skyline map from Halo 4, one is a remake of the Rig from Halo 5, and two are reskins of the Pit. These maps are absolutely beautiful, and to again have eight new maps, five of them are unique, we couldn't even get three new maps in the first year, and now we're getting eight for an event. These maps all have a Japanese samurai theme to celebrate the new Tenrai 3 event. There's some pretty cool armor actually, and it doesn't take long to complete, which is awesome. I would really love to see these maps enter matchmaking once the event is over. They are so pretty, it'd be a shame to only use them for Ninja Slayer. And then once the event ends, they're gone forever. Now the featured game mode in the event is Ninja Slayer, and it's just grapples and swords. It's been very divided down the middle. Half of the people want other game modes like Fiesta, just on the Japanese themed maps. The other half are very happy that it's grapple swords, as it fits the theme perfectly. What I would love to see, if 343 ever does another one of these, have the grapple and the sword, but build on top of it. Add some weapons, put certain equipment on the map, they could really make it into a truly awesome game mode. And then it wouldn't have to be a rotational, it could be a permanent playlist. In any case, as I said, I hope when the event event ends, we keep the maps and they go into matchmaking, because I'll put images up on screen. They are so damn good. They are beautiful. Now as always, I feel like it's my duty to say, the matchmaking in the event is very strict, so much so that I lost 10 games straight, so just keep that in mind if you're jumping into the new playlist. Now that's not all we got with the brand new update, there's also a Halo World Championship free for all playlist. If you complete 10 games, there's a chance you win an all expenses paid trip to the World Championships, there's one spot for everyone Diamond and below, and one spot for everyone in Onyx. It's basically just ranked free-for-all, but it's a nice little thing 343 is doing. Now speaking of things 343 is doing, the other day they accidentally shared a private flight message on the public version of Halo Infinite. The image itself says, Welcome to our private flight for Halo Infinite multiplayer. As a reminder, the contents of this build and the follow-up survey are confidential and not to be discussed, captured, broadcasted, or shared in any way. Please read the other news articles to see our scheduled play sessions and learn more about the flight. Good luck and have fun. So that probably means 343 is testing season five, potentially even season six, and maybe even Tatanka the Battle Royale. People are saying they'd love to see some more public flight tests so they can have an opportunity to give feedback before it goes live on the game, find any bugs, and just give 343 their thoughts. And I think that'd be a great idea. Now that was not the only thing 343 accidentally changed. Halo.API posted on Twitter, oops the daisies. After revealing by mistake an ongoing private flight, 343 Industries rebranded the now removed Dredge 24-7 playlist as Extraction 24-7. This pretty much confirms Extraction is the game mode for Season 5. Leakers have speculated that there's also a PvE version of Extraction, as well as a competitive version, which will probably go into Ranked. Now with all of that said, I spoke about it a little bit last week. The new menu that is coming to Halo Infinite potentially with Season 5, we weren't able to share exactly what it looked like because nobody had posted it online, but now that it's publicly available for everybody because Delta Index has posted it, on screen is a mock-up of the Season 5 UI. The main difference is in the bottom left hand corner, it says select what to play. I'm curious to see what that's going to do. Will it pop up a list? Will it be a match composer? It also shows like another Halo 2 Delta Halo map in the background, so we might be getting that for Season 5 as well. So there you have it guys, a brand new event, 8 new maps, a chance to go to the World Championships, we're getting Extraction for Season 5, a brand new UI for the main menu which we really needed, as well as lots of other stuff. To think we can get 8 maps now in an event, we could never get that before and it just shows how far the game has come. It's really great I can give positive news to you guys as it's such a big difference for when the game released, so hopefully 343 keeps it up. With all that said, thank you guys for watching, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.